So I kind of lit a fire into him to start the alternate market project, and, and uh, now we're doing it. Now, this is what Gandhi did. Uh, for those that don't know, Gandhi peacefully, it took him over a decade, said, stop buying from the British. Stop supporting them. Just turn your backs. Basically, don't serve them when they come into your business. Uh, they're here occupying us. Uh, this isn't going to work anymore. Support your own local community. Yeah. And this idea is really scaring the system. So before we get into his decentralized model, let's talk about what happened to Bernard von Nothaus because uh, they're now calling this guy who for 13 years put out a competing currency, uh, was not counterfeit, and they're saying that it was counterfeit and they found a moronic federal handpicked jury uh, to convict him. So, so both of you break that down and let's go through your alternative uh, model that you cover at alt-market.com. Well, what the U.S. Attorney Ann Tompkins did uh, essentially was take a, a very broad statute um, dealing, dealing with uh, the making of gold and silver currency and uh, interpreted it to, to mean almost any uh, flat metal token or coin to be counterfeit. Um, not House, not House made a few mistakes. I think um, he used certain language that insinuated or that, that it could allow people to insinuate that he was counterfeiting. But if you look at his coins, um, he, he, none of them look like legal U.S. tender. Um, well, he was also attacking uh, the Federal Reserve and openly saying we need to have alternative well, currencies. He was, and he was going further. He initiated a lawsuit against uh, yeah. the, the, the federal government um, right before, uh, ironically, that they raided his uh, raided Liberty Dollar yeah. and, and took all his... But the, only, but the only thing he did on his coins is he used the term dollar and he used the dollar sign. And I've seen that on casino chips right. for decades in Las Vegas. And so really the, 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 what they did is they took a vague federal statute that used to be used to go after real counterfeiters, and now they're going after him for what you just said, because they don't like what he's doing, because he's giving people an alternative of using real money. That's the real threat. Well, plus, p people are counterfeiting the counterfeit Federal Reserve notes, itself a counterfeit item. That's the big joke here. And right. so it's not like people are out there counterfeiting silver and gold coins. Right. I, I mean, this is insane. But uh, let's continue with them saying he's a you know, special type of terrorist. This sets an amazing precedent. Right, right. They uh, actually, in the post-trial statement from Ann Tompkins, she says, uh, attempts to undermine the legitimate currency of this country are simply a unique form of domestic terrorism. While these forms of anti-government activities do not involve violence, they are every bit as insidious and represent a clear and present danger to the economic stability of this country. We are determined to meet these threats through infiltration, disruption, and dismantling of organizations which seek to challenge the legitimacy which is very funny, of our democratic form of government. Wow. So, so by challenging the Federal Reserve that hijacked us 100 years ago, 98 years ago, it, if you even criticize them, they're saying that you're an enemy they'll infiltrate. That, that sounds like Cass Sunstein. Or, right? or China. China just said they're going to arrest people who, who reveal accurate economic information that might hurt the Chinese economy. Our government's saying the same thing. If you, if you even just use legitimate currency, that's undermining it. Right, and, and the, the, the Nothaus case was, you know, not about counterfeiting at all. It's really about people using sound money in their communities and in their states. That competes with the fraudulent Federal Reserve exactly. system that's going the way of the Weimar Republic. I want to give you both the floor now to break this down. Uh, and we've we got about eight minutes left. And to uh, go over your alternative that's completely decentralized and that this Death Star system can't stop. Well, Alex, what we're doing with Operation Sleeping Giant is telling veterans they have to focus on four key areas. And with Brandon and I, with Alternate Market also, which is his effort, is, is take the same thing, the same message. There are four critical things that must be in place for us to survive an economic collapse and be free. And the first one is you've got to have food security, you've got to have emergency communications, um, and also uh, emergency medical and other preparedness. Because yeah, food's the hardest thing to improvise. But the second thing you've got to have in a hierarchy of needs is physical security. We're talking neighborhood watches and sheriff's posses and a revitalization of a real county militia. You've got to have your own state security so you don't 
don't need outside intervention from the feds. And the third one is, is economic security, which is Brandon's going to cover here next. You've got to have the ability to, to uh, barter and, and trade with each other. And the fourth one is state sovereignty. That's why I'm part of the Nullify Now tour, and we just spoke together here in, uh, in Austin at the Nullify Now uh, event here. And so those are all critical things, but I'll let Brandon talk about the alternate market project and that one particular prong. Well, the bottom line is if communities don't take back their commerce, uh, they're going to be completely dependent on the Federal Reserve and the dollar. Right now we're seeing an extreme devaluation of the dollar. We're seeing inflation. Um, most commodities have doubled in the past two years. Uh, if communities remain hooked to the dollar, they're going to be desperate and they're going to go along with anything that the federal government says uh, when the final collapse occurs. So what we are proposing is that communities take back their commerce, um, they institute local barter networks and trade. Um, along with that would, would come sound money um, and at the state level sound money legislation. Um. Well, I mean, the main thing is, is that as individuals um, and as neighborhoods and on up, from in, the one pillar would be public action, going to your town council and your county government and saying, please use gold and silver, for example, go in your state legislature as Utah just did. So that's public. But the other side of it is don't, you know, don't rely only on that. Also work in the private sphere. As individuals, as families, as neighborhoods, co-ops, farmers markets, support your local economies, all the things you can do even outside of government to make sure that you're strong. Stop shopping at Walmart. Shop at the local grocer instead. And if you can get a list of folks' names, say, hey, you know, go to your local grocer and say, hey, all of us in this community will, will patronize your store. We will not shop at Walmart if you'll start taking silver currency, for example. And, and, and you entice them to, to help you deplug. Help us shop at your store instead of Walmart. And a lot of people have taken the first steps towards this, and that includes prepping, storing foods and goods, um, storing uh, materials for self-defense. Um, the, the problem is that this isn't going to be enough. People need to start building community and uh, looking out for each other. And uh, the, the, the idea of the, the lone wolf uh, survivor out in the hills is just not going to cut it anymore. Um, so what we're, what we're proposing is people really get out of their houses, start thinking about um, working together within their communities. And uh, it only takes two people to start a barter network. Um, and then hopefully, you know, that the person you're working with brings in his friends. And maybe they bring in their families. And you grow and you grow and you grow. Um, that's really the goal here. We need to attack the problem on multiple levels. Uh, we need to go after the Federal Reserve um, at the federal level. Uh, we also need to institute Tenth Amendment legislation at the state level. And we also need to uh, pursue private barter, private commerce to protect ourselves at the local level. So what we want people to do is go to alt-market.com. Uh, we've launched a website. It's a networking website. You can go on. You can meet people in your, in your local area who are also interested in bartering, who are also of like mind, uh, interested in sound money. Uh, you, you, you meet with them. You start working with them. If you, if you, if you like who you're working with, maybe you can grow your, grow your uh, network more. Um, it doesn't have to be huge, it could be small, or you, can, or you can take it to the state level. What we really want people to do is, is start pursuing a state level barter system. Uh, for instance, the great, during the Great Depression, California, the state of California alone, had a 300,000 member barter network. So uh, this, these kinds of things pop up, barter networks pop up after every economic collapse. Um, the problem is they always institute them after the fact. What we want people to do now is preempt the collapse that we know is coming and insulate themselves. Well, Brandon Smith, I really appreciate you coming in the studio. Thanks and for having me, Alex. You bet. It's very exciting the tour you guys have got going. And I know uh, they say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. I hope other folks pick up you know, the historical uh, information you're putting out and spread it to everybody else because nobody can stop an idea whose time has come. Uh, it was Victor Hugo who said no army can stop an idea whose time has come. Folks, uh, again, thank you for watching. I hope you get this information out to everybody. This information can save America, save the republic, and defeat these globalists. It's time to defeat them. Ideas are bulletproof.
ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock mines? Go to InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv for the latest headlines and cutting-edge information.